Hello, this video is going to give you a very short introduction to ICD-10. What we'll be doing is bringing up the actual indexes of ICD-9 and ICD-10 and just to look around and see what's different or what's the same. Uh, before we get started, I brought up this website because as you can see it offers a whole bunch of codes. You can actually see the HIC picks from 2006 to 2012. It also gives you the ability, if you wanted to, to convert from ICD-10 to ICD-9. I do believe there's another conversion, yep, right here, ICD-9 to ICD-10. It also shows you ICD-9 codes going to, from 2011, and it does, of course, have ICD-10. And uh, let me bring that up right now. And as you go into it, it's very easy to use and it is free, but I have not gone through it extensively, so it's one of those caveats where I'm saying the buyer beware. I can't give you an absolute that you won't come across any mistakes, but if you are a little short of funds for code books, it's a real easy thing to do is to go ahead and use this until you can afford the books. Now, I bring up this Word doc just to try to make it a little easier to compare and contrast the two of them. First thing you can see, of course, is that the ICD-9 codes are broken up numerically as they go through all the codes, and I'll bring this down a little bit more. Then the ICD-9, there aren't as many as the ICD-10. So in the ICD-10, they go through and they create a, more, a few more categories. So with the ICD-9, we had numeric. With the ICD-10, we have an alphanumeric. Uh, I believe in some cases hexadecimal. Now, we're not, you're never going to be asked to absolutely remember the whole book, just to remember what you're going to encounter as far as the alphanumeric and hexadecimal numbers that will be throughout the code book. As we go ahead and look at these, some of the actual categories are the same. Certain infectious and para parasitic diseases, neoplasms, now you're noticing some differences, diseases of the blood and blood forming organs, but the endocrine is still there. Endocrine from here to here, so you can see that category is still in, in place. Now they do have mental disorders, but ICD-10 breaks it down even further with neurodevelopmental disorders. You have the nervous system, there is the circulatory system, you can see it here, ICD-10-9 has respiratory, here's respiratory, digestive, and as you go down, here is the other one, and all I'm doing is going down the list. Now you have pregnancy, childbirth, and that's right there, but you have certain conditions originating from the perinatal period, so that definitely is an inclusion. And as you go down further, like I had already mentioned, we do stop a little sooner with the ICD-9 as opposed to the ICD-10. As far as code books that are currently available, they're still in draft mode. You can purchase them online through Amazon, but it's going to be a draft version. So as soon as the, the codes get entirely improved and are being used consistently, then you need to definitely update your manual. Like I was saying this was meant to be a short introduction, so I hope it was helpful for you and also that you can be a little more comfortable when dealing with ICD-10. Thank you.